D-S-L-R Film Noob After a long wait, the Magic Lantern team has finally been able to crack the dual processor issue with the Canon 7D. They've recently released an alpha for the 7D that provides some of the key features that Magic Lantern is known for. So let's take a look at what you need to do to get that alpha running on your 7D, as well as some of the features that it adds to the camera itself. To get the latest firmware update for your Canon 7D, go ahead and swing over to the Magic Lantern firmware website. I'll have the link to that in the crotch bar below. You'll see an icon right in the middle that says 7D Alpha. Go ahead and click on that, and that'll bring you to this page right here. On the right hand side, you'll see right here that it says firmware 2.03 as well as the Magic Lantern firmware. You're gonna wanna make sure that your camera is running the latest 7D firmware, that is the 2.03, before you go ahead and copy this file onto your CF card. Once the file's done downloading, go ahead and copy it over into the main directory of your CF card. Once you've got the Magic Lantern firmware installed on your compact flash card, go ahead and pop that into the camera here and turn it on. And then when the camera turns on, you're going to want to hit the menu button right here. And down here in the third little tool shaped icon, you'll have the firmware update. Click the set button, click over to OK, and that will load the Magic Lantern firmware onto your camera. Once that's done loading, it takes about 10 seconds you will have Magic Lantern running and you'll start to see the familiar Magic Lantern format, including the audio meters at the top here, as well as the histogram and what have you. Works the same as it does with other Magic Lantern installations. If you hit the trash can button right here, you get the regular bits of information, including your overlays and your time indicator, as well as trap focus. You'll notice that the menu is a little bit thin. That's because it's missing some of the features that they haven't yet implemented. This is still the alpha, but just having those on-screen preferences that are available really make this a useful bit for the Canon 7D. The main complaint I had about the earlier firmware update from Canon was that we got no on-screen audio display. Well, now as you can see up here, we do have that audio display that was missing from the Canon firmware update. That makes this a lot more handy, plus it's nice to have the live histogram and all the regular Magic Lantern information available here at the bottom of the screen. I've been using this Magic Lantern Alpha install for the Canon 7D for a few days now, and I haven't run into any real issues. It's worked just fine for me so far. I don't like that I have to go into the menu each time to load the firmware, but they're working on it. It's amazing that they were able to get from just announcing that they broke the dual processor issue to getting an alpha released for the camera in about three weeks. That's excellent progress. So I'm guessing they'll have the rest of this sorted out very soon and you'll start to see more and more features available for the Canon 7D. I'd like to thank the Magic Lantern team for continuing to work on this camera, even though it's now over a year old. It makes me glad that those guys are out there. If you haven't donated to the Magic Lantern team, you should find the link in the crotch bar below and throw them a few dollars or whatever to keep their progress going forward. Those guys aren't getting paid for cracking this firmware and doing all the work on these cameras, so any donations help them get new bodies and continue on with the process. They're a great team, so thanks Magic Lantern guys for doing a great job. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe.